Good to have you with us here on 10 Tampa Bay. It's 530. I'm Josh Sidorowicz. And I'm Emerald Morrow. And for Courtney, first, the governor is now issuing a state of emergency for most of the Tampa Bay area. And right now, our 10 Tampa Bay weather team is helping you stay prepared. Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins is tracking it all for you. Yeah, guys, and one of the keys to this is getting recon in there. They flew a plane out there earlier this morning. That's the plane that actually found enough organization to say it was tropical depression nine. That's where we're at right now. There's another plane going. There's, I think two going out tonight. What they find in there is the exact center and they find the winds and the pressures and they know the status of the storm. That data from that plane goes into all the models that we show you and that will help those models get a better and more confident solution and hopefully that makes them change a little bit from what they are right now. So when you talk about confidence in the storm, we really rely on that reconnaissance information that they get for us, and then that builds our confidence over time, and that will start especially tonight and through the day tomorrow. So by this time tomorrow afternoon, we'll be a whole lot more confident, and of course that will only grow as we get into Sunday. Let me talk a little bit more about it on the big board now. I'm gonna show you some of the 3D pictures of this, and basically what's happening is, the recon flew in and it's not near any of these, right? You see where all the big storms are because that's where it actually pushed off towards the, the west. The shear just blew it away. So here you go. That's it moving off towards the west northwest. But if you notice, all of the thunderstorms, at least so far, have been sheared off the center. There's the center and then you can see there's the storms that are actually all right in front of it. That is changing. And the center at the surface is getting up underneath of those, and that's going to make it get stronger. That's why we expect Tropical Storm Ian later tonight. And you can see the Hurricane Center forecast says Saturday a.m. That's about 2 a.m. that we will have this. It'll be 12 hours from now because it could be even a little bit sooner. So basically what we're looking at is Ian and then through the day tomorrow at 40 miles per hour. But notice the difference between Sunday, Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon. It goes from 40 mile per hour winds to 60 to 90 by Monday. 110 by Tuesday, 111 and higher is Cat 3 higher is major, and that's what they're forecasting for the Tampa area, at least right now. Now, that's Wednesday. The center can go anywhere in here. It can still turn and go out east of Florida. It can stay west far enough from us that it wouldn't be much of an issue. So that's something that we're going to keep an eye on, and we want to watch these tra tracks excuse me, and see how they change over the next 24 to 48 hours. Now,